welcome back guys my name's Herb and this is going to be an update to the flea market find so a few weeks back I had gone to the flea market and purchased a old beat up uh, craftsman toolmakers uh, chest and like I said in that video I didn't buy it for the chest the chest was in pretty tough shape um, but I did purchase it for what was in it okay and I covered all that so if you want go back and watch that video of all the different things I found in that uh, toolmaker's chest so <clears throat> I did find three indicators and I sent them out to MR tool repair uh, to be fixed and last night I looked in the mailbox and lo and behold there it is they're in the box so this is going to be an update and I'm going to show you how they came out because Mark does a wonderful job and I don't expect anything less than that. So let's open them up. <clears throat> so the first one out of the box is going to be a Starrett uh, indicator. And I will put up a picture of the indicators, um, what they looked like before. Or you can go look at the, the previous video. So this one needed a bezel, needed a crystal, and it needed to be cleaned up inside. I think it needed an outside, uh, <clears throat> I don't know what you want to call it, graduation inside. But I take that off and we'll zoom you in. And this thing was beat up pretty bad. It was pretty nasty. So as you can see, it looks really, really nice. Okay. Now he did use the back um, of the indicator, so it's a little bit faded, but everything else, the bezel, the crystal, it's all brand new and the indicator actually worked very very well but I can tell he you know he probably gave it a quick clean and a little lubrication but it came out really really nice little spots on here but that's the glare off the camera okay uh, actually there's some lint down in there okay so that came out really really nice I'm very very happy with that so we got that indicator We had two other indicators that we had sent out. And I had put them in this little box that came in the toolbox. I got them, was able to fit them both in it. And the first one, you gotta read this, it's small. Oh, that's right. It's a verdict. So the problem with this verdict was that it didn't uh, return very well. So if you touch it now, oops, let me hold this. It snaps right back, no problem. So this one was in pretty good shape. Um, it's just whatever was wrong inside. It would not return it would just stay wherever it was touched so that was a nice score and it came out really really nice and this box is for the verdict but the one that really topped it all off <clears throat> is this brownie shop last word really really nice job this was broken it was not working the needle would move but it was it was terrible it was kind of frozen up in the bottom here um, dampness had got into this little mechanism in here and it looks like mock replaced that whole section so now you touch it And you got to be careful because this mechanism moves over here. 
so when you touch it you can't touch that area or otherwise it'll stop it and it came out beautiful it actually came out perfect okay now <clears throat> if you remember when I was talking about this the box was busted now there's probably a lot of people out there I could have 3d printed me one of these boxes to put it in but I went the old-fashioned way and what I decided to do was make a box um, for it the styrofoam inlays that were in here I took them out and I cut a piece of a couple pieces of wood and kind of made it like the old brownie shop best test boxes and I machined it out on the milling machine to fit the uh, all the styrofoam inlays so this kit was a hundred percent the only thing that was wrong was the dial indicator was bad so we'll put this right back in here where it belongs and I'm going to try and do that without dropping it and that kit is complete okay so this is an awesome addition to my uh, indicator collection and I do have quite a few ind different indicators for different things but it came out really nice and as you can see I just cleaned this up sprayed it down with a little WD-40 and wiped it all out and it cleaned it up really really nice um, really nice set and like I said I paid I think it was $30 for the whole toolbox with all the tool bits the drills everything so nice score I cannot thank Mock enough from MR Tool Repair uh, for fixing these for me and doing it at a very reasonable price so there's the card I always block the name so that's Mock Ratowski and he's at Crystal Lake Illinois and he does a fabulous fabulous job um, he does have a Facebook page also MR tool repair so if you have a question you can ask him he does respond to it and he does not do any quoting over the uh, Facebook you got to do that through email which you know makes sense and uh, but he can take care of you and he will fix up just about anything and he says he does all types of measuring instruments so so far all I've sent him was indicators and I've that's the that makes six now that I've sent him um, and I, I'm very very happy I have a couple other things that I'm going to put together to send out to him that are more traditional uh, measuring instruments such as a vernia caliper um, I have an old brownie shop dial caliper and uh, I have a Helios caliper that is uh, a dial caliper it's a 12 inch that's it's a little sticky I don't use it very often um, and it, it is a little sticky so I think I'm gonna send that out to him but again hey thanks for watching guys uh, it's been great uh, you guys have been commenting on the channel you guys have been uh, subscribing and uh, the viewers although they're on a lot they are coming up so I'm happy like I said I do this for fun I don't do this for money so um, if you like the content please click the like uh, subscribe and we got some more stuff coming up I do have a lot more stuff for the carbide grinder that will be loaded up soon uh, but this kind of came in in the meantime so I'll put this up and uh, you guys can take a look at it. Um, this particular type of a video doesn't take a, lot, a whole lot of editing. I just usually just kind of put it right up. So, all right. Thanks a lot, guys. Hope to see you again um, on the next adventure. You guys have a great 4th of July. Signing out.